We are approximately 7-9 to nine months away from Halo Infinite's release, a game which quite frankly I believe is the most important in the franchise's history. In today's video I want to look at the various reasons as to why Infinite is so crucial, ranging from Microsoft's interests to my own personal thoughts. I want to kick off by talking about Xbox, but before I do I want to make one thing clear. I do not believe in any of this console war bullshit. Sure, Sony and Microsoft are competitors for the same market, but as gamers we don't have to choose sides with either of them, and some of us can be lucky to enjoy both consoles. Anyway, if someone is choosing to buy an Xbox or PlayStation, one of the defining factors in their decision making are the games. Sure, companies can babble on about how many teraflops they have, or how you can watch TV on your Xbox, but ultimately I buy a games console to play games. And of course each manufacturer has their own exclusive games to entice you into buying their box. And this is why Halo Infinite is so key for Microsoft, because it's their number one exclusive. Halo was a major reason the initial Xbox was so successful, and to quote a review from nzgamer.com, an Xbox 360 without a copy of Halo 3 is like a human without a heart. Countless people buy an Xbox over a PlayStation to simply play Halo. And I know that Xbox have other exclusives, I myself made the choice in 2013 to buy an Xbox One because of how successful the Forza series was, but no exclusive Xbox game has the gravity and pull that Halo does. To make matters even more paramount, this was an area that Microsoft were criticised for in the previous generation. As a non-PlayStation owner, I looked across the waters at some of their exclusive games with jealousy. It almost felt as if I had made the wrong choice. And PlayStation aren't stopping either. Spider-Man and upcoming exclusives such as Gran Turismo, Ratchet and Clank and Horizon Forbidden West are giving players grounds to choose a PlayStation over an Xbox. Microsoft can turn that tide, and they are trying, but Halo Infinite would play a large part in that if it's successful. My now outdated viral video covered this topic, but I want to touch on it again because of the significance of Infinite. Many people are highlighting how Infinite will launch on the 20th anniversary of Combat Evolved. However, I'm more focusing on Infinite's launch coinciding with the 10 year anniversary of Combat Evolved Remastered. You see, this will mark 10 years since 343 Industries developed their first Halo title, albeit a remaster. And in that time frame, well, I hate to be negative, but the franchise has had a fall from grace. Halo is too big to die and be forgotten about. Whatever happens with Infinite, it will not be the last Halo game for sure. The question is how will the community, 343 and Microsoft deal with Infinite not hitting the mark? How could 343 justify the 6 year development cycle and rumoured half a billion budget. Well, they couldn't. Infinite failing would seriously put Halo's future under 343 into question, and depress an already depleted and frustrated community. On the flip side however, if Infinite succeeds, I'm so excited to say that it will succeed unlike any other Halo game. Firstly, the gaming landscape has grown vastly in recent years. Simply put, so many more people are playing games, and this will mean the community could explode in popularity. This is benefited by two, in my opinion, great decisions by Microsoft. One, Infinite will launch on Xbox Game Pass, and two, the multiplayer will be completely free. As of January, Game Pass has over 18 million users, coupled with free multiplayer and the typical standard purchases, and at launch, Halo Infinite will have undoubtedly the largest player count of any Halo game. Whether or not this can be maintained remains to be seen, but it needs to hit the ground running. Infinite is effectively auditioning not only a 6 year developed Halo game, 
but also Microsoft's number one exclusive to the world. And first impressions are everything. If Infinite can launch well, the community will surpass the glorious days of the Xbox 360 era. Mark my words. It's imperative it doesn't flop, because to be honest, I don't know what to do if it does. This point is very much more a personal opinion than my previous statements, so feel free to disagree. Since the Xbox 360, I haven't had a fantastic multiplayer game to sink hundreds of hours into. There are many contenders of course, I played hundreds of hours of Halo 5, but I wouldn't classify it as a great game. Battlefield 1 is amazing, but I struggle to play it for hours on end due to its long game time. An Apex Legends hooked me at launch, but failed to retain my interest in the months following. I'm craving that multiplayer game, probably a shooter, that I can play with friends evening after evening, and when they're not online, play by myself and have similar levels of enjoyment. I want things to grind for, ranks to obtain, and every casual experience in between. It felt like I didn't find a game on the Xbox One that achieves all those aforementioned things. A proper AAA multiplayer shooter that will capture me for hours on end. I think this coincided with the rise of Battle Royale games, of which I'm not a huge fan of, but it also coincided with Halo's decline. A return to form would be more than welcome, and rekindle the excitement I had for some of the games of the 360 era. I can't stress enough how important Halo Infinite is, for me, for Halo, for Xbox, and everyone in between. It's such an enticing yet anxious thought that so much can rest on a single game, but that's just the situation we find ourselves in. It goes without saying that Infinite has to be successful, but the prospect of it exceeding expectations is truly something worth thinking about and would have such an effect on so many people. On the flip side, if we're disappointed, it will be compounded by so many different factors and consequences. Nonetheless, Infinite is just around the corner, and the prolonged, tedious wait is nearly over.